We're not open yet. See, we don't want black and whites driving into this complex because we're undercover here. So the only time uniforms show up here is to transport prisoners. Right, yeah. And they'll come in undercover cars. Do me a favor, go home, get in some civvies, come on back. And I'll give you a brief and we'll get you started. Yes, Good to go? Sir. Yeah, Chief. All right, everybody put your radios on uh, NARC 1. All right? Let's do this. Hold on, I'm showing a pair of cuffs. No, no, in my top drawer. Left in the SUV the other day.
long eat time, huh? I got something better for you. You ever tried horse? My heroin? Huh? My man, what do you think I am in chip? No, 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 you know, you gotta try this stuff, it's good. 1300 an ounce. How's a deal for you? Yeah, why so cheap? What, are you a cop? <laughs> no, man. I was a cop out of Buzzard you last week. I got half a key, man. You interested or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the signal. You're under arrest. Why did you set me up? Do yourself a favor, man. Stay on the ground. Uncle. <laughs> Nobody listens nowadays anymore. Uh, my bad. Uh, uh, <coughs> Aren't I supposed to get a phone call or something? A phone call? I think you've been watching too much TV. Why don't you give me a break? How am I supposed to know that? I've never been arrested before. That's got to count for something, right? Oh, what? You mean like, uh, like brownie points? No, like I'm new to the system, so I get probation. Wrong. See? You assaulted us. No probation for that. Come on. Although I guess I did hit you pretty hard, didn't I? <laughs> that was easy. Didn't get a chance to lay a hand on your boss, though. So say it's one assault charge. Mm -hmm. What you need to worry about is the weight enhancement. The what? The weight enhancement. So you had half a pound of smack. That's another five years if we go federal. Are you serious? Well, I mean, we could always work something out if you want to give up your connection. Well, how about that phone call? Just got a call from the North District. They got an ugly double homicide out by the internment campsite. Oh, man, that ain't good. Well, look, put this white boy back in the bucket and uh, I'll catch up with y'all before I head out, yeah? Sounds good. Kane. I just got a radio call. There's a double, triple, two over at Harley General Store. I'm heading out there right now. Yeah, I heard. I'm already here. Well, listen, man. Canvas the area. Talk to folks. See what you can find out. Do your CI thing, man. You can probably get a lot better stuff than I can or my uniforms can. Yeah, I heard some things already and some things we need to talk about, so you need to get here ASAP. I'll see you in five or ten. Okay, I'll talk to you. Too many boots on the inside of the tape. Guys, why don't you see if you can get on the outside and see what you can find from here? I got things inside and outside I need to show you, boss. I'm gonna take a walk with you in just a minute. You got it. Hold up, hold up, listen. Okay, here's what I found out. There's some strange weeds in the garden, all right? Money's been flowing. Bunch of white trash rascals at the edge of town. Always got the nose of the thing that smell bad, all right? Listen, I gotta take a walk through here. When I get out, I'll get with you. All right, all right. You acting right? Now, you know my life's changed because of you, King. All right, because I will bitch you after you. All right, we need to talk, all right, King? Elijah. Thanks for coming in. It's a damn massacre in here. I know you and your team are tied up in other things. Yeah, well, that's what we're here for, right? Exactly. Come on. There's the first one, one on the chest. There's another one back here. Here's what we got so far. 
talk to Sparks, no fluids, no hairs, no definitive DNA. Well, there's uh, red mud on the floor everywhere, and this red mud is uh, definitely from the woods deeper in. Deposit safe is sitting there open like a barn door. And uh, in my opinion, man, whoever did this knew these people real well. Why do you say that? I mean, it's just a hunch, but welfare checks will be cashed tomorrow. In my opinion, everybody be cashing them here, most of them anyway, so. These folks around here with another place is flush with cash. So we got tire tracks over here. Matches the mud inside. That looks like a good place they could have been watching, waiting, casing the joint. Give me forensic up in here. Have you combed this place yet? Started to. So give me forensic, give me a DNA profile on that cigarette here. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Give me a Mandarin translator right now. Give me child services. Get her up someplace safe right now. Okay, come on, sweetie. Let's go. It's okay. Let's go. This guy's a shipping horse, Kane. Just don't know who they're working with. What I do know is they don't like visitors. I feel really bad about that. Can you tell how bad I feel about that? <laughs> Terrible. What you forget, King? How many has his own set of rules, man? And you forget who I am, man. I got my own set of rules, and I'm the police, and I will impose my rules on them. I hear that. We got to do what we got to do to get our job done, you see? We got to get the bad guys and protect the good guys, man. That's why we're here, you know that. Yeah, without going too crazy, though. You don't think it's too crazy here? Come on, man, what's wrong with you? What are you doing here, boy? This ain't the big city. Let me tell you something. Country boy, always a country boy. Y'all had a double homicide right over here at this store. Yeah. Or maybe you haven't heard. Things changed since your old lady died. Oh, yeah. I know all about Elijah Kane, big city cop. And I damn well assure you, you would know all about me if you hadn't moved away. You're a famous man, ain't right? I can't say the same about you. You know, in a little place like this, people talk. And uh, sooner or later, somebody gonna talk to me. I've been hearing people around here stop working nine to five and start selling drugs. Drugs? So. Us? Oh, come on, chief. We wouldn't do that. And you drive an expensive boat, expensive car. You got that from selling firewood. Yeah. People pay a good money to stay warm, Shen. You know, when the town idiot hears lies, all he knows how to do is repeat them. It's a pity. Because uh, Camp Harmony had a lot of really important history, man. It's a pity y'all white trash came in here and dirtied up the trailers. That bag don't mean nothing around here. It don't have to, boy. Stop! 
Unless you're going to arrest one of us, I suggest you be going. How long you been here, boy? You're the new person around here. I know these sticks better than you ever will. Now listen, tell these young folk behind me to put their crap away before I pull out my gun and kill y'all. And I'll kill you first. You heard? Go on. Coming. And sooner or later, somebody here gonna tell me everything. We're done talking. Nobody here wants to help you. We see about that. Hey, uh, you need to show me some of that stuff, Kanye son. Va tien, conchon. Where'd you learn how to do all that, Kane? Okay? <laughs> Somebody pick those deeds up. Sick, <laughs> Kane! Man, it's all right. Oh, really? pictures from the surveillance poll cameras. Anyone know any of these players? That white boy in the red shirt, I've seen him before. He comes to town once or twice a month, says he's a salmon fisherman, but word on the street was he's pushing cocaine and weed. First heard about him when I was on the Vice team, watching strippers downtown. The hell's that word? Oh man, I've been doing that for years. What was some dude named Damian was using strippers from the old dope down south? Damian. Yeah, you know him, Chief? Yeah, I met him last night. Damian is like, a, he's a Cajun, for sure. And uh, after the storm, a lot of the Cajuns started coming up here to fish, and then now with this oil spill, man, their whole livelihood is devastated. No more crawfish, no more crab, no more fish. They're all coming up here to get work. Damian means peeping Tom, so that might could tell you something. Well, the action seems to center around these clouds. Definitely think we should check it out, huh, Chief? I had a hunch you might volunteer for that, but the uh, thing of it is this is work, not play, so I'd like you to get in there, but I'd like you to work it instead of play it, yeah? Well, I mean, I'm just being proactive, right? That's good with me. It's always easier to talk to the girls when there's two guys. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, listen, before you do that, uh, see if you can get up on that boy from yesterday and see why he carrying so much weight. This is Sarah. She's from the East Pisa. She's the new item here. She's gonna be working with you, Julia. She will. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Chief. Now, y'all get out of here and go catch me some bad guys. Oh, and by the way, Julia. Julia, bring Sarah up to speed and follow up on this morning's Triple H. All right? Let's go. Seems real different without the uniform on. Yeah? Well, it's just as dangerous. You should keep that in mind next time you choose your outfit. What's that mean? Look, this job is hard enough for us. Why add to the problem by Right, uh, okay. Sorry, it's just the way I dress. I didn't mean to. Uh... When you're out in the field, you're gonna use the hard wire that's in your car's glove box. Get out on foot, use your Nextel. Okay, I don't have a car or a Nextel, so. Yeah, I know, you will in the next few days. So what kind of cases do we handle? <laughs> You'll get the cases the rest of us don't want. Like what, the gang banging stuff? We don't waste time on little poo butts like that. We've got 38 cases pending trial, five active investigations. That's one case per team member. It means we don't waste time with small crap. Okay. Look, I'll walk you through the street stuff. Put papers are on you. No, don't worry about that. My paper's strong. Yeah? We'll see about that. Hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You okay? Do you remember me? 
Do you? Yeah? How's it going? It's scary, huh? Yeah, I know. Do you think you can talk to me a little bit about what happened? No? Okay. Why don't we go get you some candy? I bet you're hungry. Yeah? All right. Let's go. Wait here for the translator. How's it shine, Thomas? You got enough powdered eggs for breakfast? Oh, you better get used to it, pal. Because you were looking at a 10-year minimum. Look, you guys want to talk, let's talk. What do you want from me? You know what I mean? Come on. You already know about him. What do you need me for? Well, to make an introduction. To Domian? No, 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 hell no. I never mess with this country ass. That dude makes onions cry. Didn't he friend you the heroin? No, I deal with one of his stripper connects. No, I was just looking for weed, all right? She talked me into taking other stuff on consignment. Consignment? Wow. You make it sound almost legitimate. Dude, I just sell weed, all right? It's nothing too serious. It's the first time I'll try to move anything heavy like that. What's your connection name? It goes by the name Crystal. Crystal's probably the back to rails, no doubt. Business with Crystal, man. This is your friends. See, I know you, but I don't know those two fools. You don't need to know them, all right? They're with me. Oh, hey, 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 yeah. If I don't know them, then Crystal don't know. Oh, come on now, you know me. What the hell, Shut man? Your mouth. Sit down and relax. Boys are gonna go see Crystal, and we're just gonna enjoy the show. Sit down. Did you not hear that? Who's this? Oh, he's a friend of mine. He's cool. How you doing? Friend of yours is no friend of mine. What do you need, Thomas? Some more of that horse. Close the door. You sold out already? Yeah, that stuff goes fast. You know, college kids love it. Well, where's the money? I funded you three grand worth. Is it all there? Yes, yeah, all there. I didn't ask you. The money that your friend's holding, is it straight? Yeah, relax. Why is he handing me the money? I don't know him, I know you. Did Tiny check him? Of course Tiny checked him, he checks everybody. this and you bring back six grand understand I told you mister my business is with him not with you funny thing is is I'm making my business you are an a-hole Thomas yeah so what if I am what are you gonna do dance me to death just relax big boy we'll be out of here before you know it are you really a cop, man? Yeah, I'm really a cop. Yeah, well, you know we're kind of the same business, keeping the peace, right? Wrong. You're a glorified door monkey. So you really don't think I can make it as a cop? No, I don't. Because you think I'm too stupid? Hold on a minute. 
an idea what our suspect looked like. She was at the back of the store when a woman came in. When her father was killed, she ran. Okay, so can she describe this woman in detail? Were there any tattoos, facial abnormalities, or striking features that stood out? Um, she said she saw the woman here. Okay. So she means that the person who shot her father had the same pale blue eyes as the female officer she saw in the hallway. She says the one in the hallway was the killer. No, she's upset. She's a smart girl, detective. She says the person she pointed out to you is the suspect. Yo, Mason. Hey. You running that force report by Kane this morning? I ran about a patrol sergeant last night. Had no choice. He made hamburger out of that kid's face. Yeah, but he bought it, right? Hasn't believed it? Yeah. He bought it. Come in. I'm almost done with the force report. So what's the story, man? Did he act right or what? Guy hit right in the first, then tried to beat him with a sap. You sure about that? Did what he had to do. All right. What could this stripper do for us? Well, we've been pressing her about Domian, but uh, she's one real tough bitch. I was thinking maybe Juliet might be able to get more out of her. No, I mean, I need her for something else. Can't have her. All right, well, I'll keep you posted. hours ago. Nothing in the system matched. Try this one. Is that from the crime scene? No. It's a favor for Kane. What file number should I put it under? 
Pull a separate one for right now. He wants to keep this well below the department's radar. You got a name to go with the new file? Jane Doe. You don't like men, do you? Of course I don't. I'm gay. Of course she is. I sense this one from the beginning. She's uh, pervious to our charms. It's a genetic thing for you, right? I ain't talking to you. You beat up my friend, Tiny. Well, I mean, your friend ain't so tiny. See, when you do things to cops, bad things happen. Get out of my face. Tell you what, why don't you sit there and answer the goddamn question? Radner, can you give us a moment? What, are you freaking serious? Jesus, please, come on. You seriously gonna front me off for this clam slammer? Go get some coffee. For you, that guy's a real jerk. Let's just say his way of doing things, I don't approve of them. I'll tell you what, you give me your supplier, and I'll see to it that you walk. Your word? If the information you give us results in us arresting the source. I can give you my guy. Whether or not he's the main player, I'm not completely sure. Write down exactly what you know. Hey, did you play ball? Yeah, she bought it. Hey, the next time you want to play bad cop, you might keep in your vocabulary a little less graphic. Clam slim? Really? Hey, hey, hey. What is with you, man? I mean, you've been acting weird ever since I took that bouncer down at the club. Yeah. You beat him because he had a sap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Exactly like the sap I saw on your desk the other day. Oh. Is that what this is about? It's not about what I think. It's about you holding your mud, right now. We're all on the same team. You slip, we all fall. You think I planted that thing? You're not hearing me. And even if you were, we don't have time to discuss it. Really? Why is that? Crystal just coughed up a supply. There's a drop at the club in a half an hour. We need to get eyes on the street before he gets there. No sign of our supplier yet. You out here yet, Mason? Mason's already inside. I'm down the street in the car. Copy, we've got an eye in front. You're both in the car. Why is that? You guys forming a knitting circle or something? He's right. We should have split up to cover it better. You want me to go out on foot? No. You stay here. I'll take the street. I think you're overreacting. Item on scene, Mason, you up? Yeah, boss. I'm in the location. The vehicle we're looking for is a brand new black pickup. Driver described as a white male, 30, medium build. And according to the information, you should be in pocket with the cash when he arrives. Now listen, just for the record, I got the eye in the club. So why don't you two princesses take a break? Comb each other's hair, take a squirt. Yeah, whatever it is you gotta do. You get out on foot. I've got my eye on the front. Come again, Cinderella? You heard me. You can either cover the ass end of the street or you can cover your own ass when I drop a letter of intent off the human resource. Is that clear enough for you to support? It was a joke. Okay, relax. Everyone has team loose their mind. I got a black Ford picker coming on up. Keep your eyes open. I got an eye. I got a visual on the suspect. That's a guy from Don Mound's camp. Play him loose until you see a product, yeah?
Boy mail exiting fast. I got him. So keep your eyes on him, Juliet. Get up, man. It's going down. Julia, back up Mason. Sarah, bottom up to driver. Police! Drop your weapon! You did good, man. We all walking away, and that's what counts. Yeah. Should be back in about a half an hour. It feels like this bruised ribs. Why can't you make it five minutes? Don't make me laugh. Get yourself a new vest, man. Four for four next time, sir. That'd be great. Thank you, sir. Relax, man. I'm good. OK, it's just dirt. Nothing a cold beer can't cure. Radner, you got to let the man do his job. Ah, oh, I knew it. Starting to care about me, aren't you, Cinderella? You want to take a ride with me in the shiny new ambulance? Do you ever quit? Hell no. You're the new kid, and new kids get hazed. So rather than calling human resources on me, why don't you go back to the office and hash out the report that documents my heroics? Your heroics? My heroics. You're a hard man to find lately. <laughs> yeah, what you got? I got a match on that DNA sample. Don't know if you're gonna like the results. Wonderful. I guess I owe you. Yes, you do. Money bad enough to kill for it? You got questions, ask them through my lawyer. I don't have anything to say. Yeah, well, that sounds like the move of a guilty woman. That's my rights. Make no mistake, bitch. I know each and every one of them. It's all right, man. She clever, she lawyered up. But I don't really think that's gonna help her too much with what I got. We can all talk amongst ourselves about what I got. Yeah, we can. Fact number one, the car that was used left eye tracks that we have imprints on that matched the cruiser that she checked out and drove that day. Fact number two, the child that witnessed her family being slaughtered positively identified her. Give me a break. That kid ain't old enough to know what she saw. Fact number three, the cigarettes that she smokes were found at the crime scene next to where the cruiser was. So what? 
A lot of people smoke the same brand as uh, me. Fact number four, Crime Lab has positively identified the DNA on the cigarettes as her DNA. What that means to me is that she sat there, watched the place, cased it out. That's what we call premeditation. And that kind of strongly leads to a really great shot at the death penalty, which is what I feel you deserve. Death penalty. That's crazy. What's crazy is you're slaughtering an entire family. Over some immigrant garbage out in the sticks. And those immigrants and those kind of people are my people. I'm taking this personal. All right. You want to talk? Not really. I just want to see you fry. And if for some reason our glorious team does not get the death penalty, minimal, you will get life. And cops don't really do too good in prison. And I'm going to personally bring a bucket of sand to my friends in the joint just for you. said that she can give you the Russians we've been looking for. They're the ones that ordered the grocery store merch. Well, first of all, I don't believe her. Why, why would you believe her? Well, if she's lying, she's pretty good at thinking on her feet. She laid out the whole game plan. Have the drug come through the straight, transfer to the fast boat, and then move inland through the sloop. And Chief, she gave me a name, Nikolai. There's more for a deal. What does she want in return? Protective custody. Says she doesn't want to hit the main line. Said that she'll give us the location of tonight's big drop just to prove that she's straight up. The only thing that's going to prove is that she's more calculating. Chinese folk up at the general store will collateral damage, man. They might have been able to ID this Nikolai. But anyway, man, I'll set up a deal. I'll start that deal with her. All right. Out here.
They all dead, Kane. Thanks for the call, man. What you got? Look, look around. I think there was a reckoning, man. The Russians didn't know the waterways too good, all right? So they needed help moving the shipments onto land. I mean, it was easy money for someone like Domian who grew up traversing the waterways. The trouble is he got greedy. So he sent the fast boats to the wrong channel. That end, that's when him and his boys, that's when they gunned them down. And it was bad enough to take the drugs from them, but uh, to cut the Russians off from distributing their product, Mm -mm. Man, I told you, Russians don't play. Man, it's amazing to see what this place has come to. You see that plaque? Yeah. It's an old internment camp as well. My wife's people were interned here. This is where they were imprisoned, man. Look at this. This is what it's come to. It's true, the camp is history, huh? And all this was in response to that betrayal. I guess it's true what you say, Kane. The Russians don't play, huh? Look at Dom Young. Man, what a mess. What a mess. What's up, boss? I've seen atrocities and just terrible things all around the world. But in your own backyard, man, you start seeing crap like this. It's like you just lose your faith in mankind, man. For me, as jaded as I should be, it's still hard for me to believe there's people like this out there. And to be honest with you, man, I got a feeling there's a lot of them. That's horrific. Seeing something like that changes you. You say that again. <laughs> Not an issue. No, someone on the inside is already taking care of all of it. Look, yes, it was necessary. Sometimes blood must be spilled. The owner of the story shined flashlight on us when both arrived. You make mistake, I take care of mistake. If uh, police start looking in our direction, we will be warned. Yeah, we're fine. Plus, look on news tonight. You will see that it will say, uh, robbery gone bad. Yes, I'm a little bit of a poet. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you have a problem, I take care of it. It's my pleasure. All right. Hey, uh, King, I, uh, I appreciate the ride and everything, but this really wasn't the direction I was in. Really? Yeah. Do I look like the kind of guy that cares about the direction you're heading in, man? Why do you think I gotta care about where you're going? You're going where I'm going, man. Well, where are you taking me then? Going into town. To what? I got some things to do, and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna take you back where you're going. Any dad to help with? No. Come on, Kay. Look, let me help you do your job. You already got me feeding you in foreign harmony. You know, maybe it's time to take the next level. No. Right now, to me, man, you ain't nothing but a CI. A CI? Yeah, man. And, uh, you know what? You prove yourself to me, you start to act right. Then I'm gonna start to teach you. Until then, man, I'm not gonna teach you nothing. Listen, you just Kay. provide me with information, that's it. I'm straightening my life out. I'm telling you, Kay, you'll see. You'll see. Let me ask you something. How's it going at the construction site? I mean, I've been showing up, you know, sometimes I've been showing up early sometimes. You know, a few minutes early made the boss smile sometimes, you know? And that's strange because they called me up and told me you never came. I didn't show up? That's it. He told you that? Yeah. Listen, I just need to rethink my options and everything, all right? Really? Something wrong with you, boy. The only reason why I got you that job is because your mother was a friend of mine. And she said, man, look out for my boy.
So you're sure that those two carjacks are from the same crew, right? Bet my shield on it, Chief. I actually uh, kind of got into it with one of the carjackers. Messed him up pretty good, you know? Wow. Yeah, I tossed him up like a salad. You know, I mean, sometimes you're the dog, and other times you're the fire hydrant. Gates. You know what I'm saying? Gates? Next time you come by here with some information for us, do you want to leave your uniform at the precinct? We don't like uniforms around here. It defeats the purpose of the SIU. Whatever. Whatever? What? <laughs> Whatever. Boss, just so you know, the guy he's talking about posted before anyone had a chance to sweat him. And Juliet and I are already following up on it. You good? You got them working on it, huh? I'll, uh, I'll watch you back there, Chief. Don't worry about it. Unless you need another team member. I'm just saying. Hello, Elijah. Pretty young lady, how are you? Since you wouldn't answer your phone to talk to me, I thought I would come by in person. That was very nice. It was nothing personal. Cynthia, it's kind of, you know, an occupational hazard. We got murders and kidnappings and narco-trafficking and... Yeah, but I called you four times. Wow. She looks like trouble. Check her out. Is that the scent of jealousy I'm detecting? Jealousy? No. Concern, maybe. She got that mad dog look in her eyes. Yeah, like I said, jealousy. You sure that's me? Because, uh... There it is again. Sarah, you smell that? Uh, yeah. What? Well, that's the scent every woman knows. The smell of a little boy jealous of his dad. Hey, keep your mind's out of the man's business. I'm back on the case. Jeez, Mason, you're starting to sound more and more like him every day, you know that? Really? You think so? Come on, let's go. Easy, Mace. Sounding like him and acting like him are two different things, brother. You're a funny guy, Radner. You're a funny. Talk to me, Kane. Man, I think the markings on those bricks are the same as the ones on a Camp Harmony. So what does that mean? It means it's the Russians. They're trying to get inland. They're trying to get on land. They're trying to switch from fast boats to fast cars. You know? Oh, so that's who's doing the carjackings. That's my opinion. Well, I'm just on my way to the DEA info, Sheriff. Sure. I'll ask them what they got on. Do me a favor. Play your cards real close to the vest on this one. I don't want them knowing too much. I really don't. Look, I need this thing stopped, Kane. When I say stopped, I mean all of it. From the top guy down. I understand that. What I'm gonna try to do is get my folks on the inside of this whole uh, carjacking deal and see if I can uh, hit the jackpot that way. Give yourself some support. I just think we gotta be really careful with auto theft. I mean, most of those guys in there are kind of wannabe guys that didn't make detectives. They're like glorified meter maids, and I just don't want all this extra paperweight here. Let me put it this way, Kane. You got two days to get me some results. If this thing isn't tied up by then, I'm gonna assign every broken toy in the detective bureau to your task force. That understood. I believe that you would do that to me. I really do. I'm only partly joking, Kane. I need you to find the people responsible for those murders. It's all over the news, and I don't see it going away anytime soon. I think we're gonna crack it wide open. Just give me a minute, man. I'll get him. Great. Thanks, Kane. All right. All right, what's up? You're gonna love this. We need a bait car, right? Something nice. And this little beauty just came in on a dope possession. It's nice. That's nice right. Ah, oh, man, Narco already requisitioned it. Well, that's a shame. Now that's not gonna happen. You know if we take this, they're gonna be pissed. No, man, you're really worried about the mullet heads at Narco? I never said that. Look, come on, just, just sit in it. Give it a try. Come on. Nice. All right, it's nice, so what? Keys are in it. Radner, what are you doing? The right thing, man. Now, you're probably gonna wanna duck down because you're about to become an accessory after the fact. Why do you always do this to me, man? Are you the only one in? Yeah. The rest of the guys are out doing tow truck storage inspections. Anything I can help you with? 
Yeah, we need to know if there's been any follow-up on those carjacking cases. I didn't know SIU messed with street-level stuff. We mess with a lot of things. A lot of things. Wow. I bet you do. Hey, what are you packing? Glock 40. Really? Can I see? Wow. Are we issuing those now, or is that your own? It's mine. They just authorized us to carry them, though. Depends what you like. Some of the older guys, they prefer the 9 millimeters. Yeah, you like that better? Holds more rounds in the clip. I like to have the firepower on hand, just in case, you know? Yeah, firepower. I like that. All right, so about those carjackings. What do you need to know? Got any idea who's behind it? Is it one guy, a gang? Uh, we're still working it up, but we suspect a group of guys down on the east side. They hang out at a club on 3rd Street. Got a name? James. Of the club, silly. Well, I don't think that's meant for public consumption. Do we look like the public? Well, of course not, but uh, I can't give you guys that information. Well, it looks like we should come back when the adults are here. Hey, come on. You don't have to be like that. It's not about what I want. No? That's all right. We'll just come back when your parents are home. Well, no need to be a bitch. Hey, Blondie. Why don't you give me your number, and you and I can hang out later? Uh, how about this? Instead of me giving you a fake number, why don't you give me a fake number so when I don't call it later, you won't feel like such a loser? I really thought you took a shine to him there for a minute. Are you kidding me? He's like every first year detective I had to deal with at the precinct. Well, now we're gonna have to go to his supervisor for that info. No, not necessary. The club he's talking about is Red Velvet. It was on the file he was reading. Nicely done. Hey, boss. Dan. Hey. How are you? Have a seat. Are you okay? No, I am not okay. The wife served me papers today. Can you believe it? My second divorce. As an occupational hazard man, seems like all us cops, man, we can never get that part of our lives together. Yeah, well, I'm just worried about the kids. This poor man's gonna kill me. It's not all dark clouds, man, because at least three of those kids are mine. <laughs> yeah, very funny. All right, so talk to me straight, Kane. DA want to share info, but they also went in on the case. Well, I'll share info, no problem. Fair enough. I think they just want to toss in a shared seizure report if you get any product. Man, I don't care nothing about the kitty. I care about the bad guys. I'll share the kitty and the intel. I'm cool with all that. Well, there's not much more than a few random tips and known hangouts. Nothing earth shattering there. You never know what's going to break a case. All right. Hey, I'm just saying, that car deserves a driver with style. You should have let me drive it. Give me a break, man. What are you two arguing about now? Mason says I dress bad. Am I right? You could use a makeover. A makeover? Come on. Hey, Sarah, what do you think? I've seen worse. All right, man, I got some new intel from DEA, nothing earth shattering, some possible new uh, trafficking routes, and some new addresses. No big deal. Well, that's pretty much worthless. We did get a new name from a mid level drug dealer, Nikolai Putin. Apparently, he worked for the Moscow folks in Fizbe. He quickly discovered that narco trafficking is much more profitable than uh, government work. They also say that the murders are probably his work in retaliation. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's our guy. Uh, any luck on this auto theft deal? Yeah. They've been uh, watching a club called the Red Velvet. So anybody looking for a stolen ride, that'd be the place to go. All right, well, I'll uh, start to put that together right away for you. Actually, Chief, we were thinking we'd work the inside on this one. With one of us? No. Sarah and I can handle it. Well, I'm kind of old fashioned, so if y'all want to do that, I'll let you do it with the caveat that I got a pair of eyes on the inside watching y'all. Yeah, I got the eye, boss. It's a nightclub. You don't have the clothes, remember? You're not coming with us, boss? Just got a little personal matter to take care of, and then I'll catch up with y'all. Thanks, Chief. Boss, this is about that girl from earlier. I mean, if that's a problem, where can I get me one? Man, you don't want none of this, man. You don't never want a problem like that. Yo, Radner, we got a sec? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, hey, bro, just wondering, uh, you know, if you could put a good word in uh, for me uh, with Kane. About what? Making a little room uh, for me on the team. Could spend some quality time with Sporty Spice over there, eh? 
show her what's what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's doing fine. All right, well look, wouldn't you rather have a guy watching your six than some split tail like that? I'd take her over you any day, pal. Hey, I'm just saying, man, you know, when it hits the fan and, uh, and it gets hot and you got a little girl watching your back, you're gonna be praying for a guy like me. What's that all about? What's well, Sarah's job? Are you serious? Yeah, I don't think he's been to diversity training yet. Copy that. All right, keep a tight eye on my new girl. I'm afraid she's going to try to impress and blow her cover here. of so many appreciative men. May I? Why not? Nikolai. I'm Kathy. This is Sandy. Kathy, Sandy. It's so nice to see your fresh faces here. Can't get any easier than this. Nikolai just sat down with our girls. Maybe these girls are going to prove me wrong, huh? That means whatever you do, it pays very well. Women have diamond earrings, designer shoes, purses. All men have to show they have money is watch and car. Well, I'm thinking uh, you're in the export business. Probably high-end stuff. Am I right? Clever girl. I'm import-export specialist. My clients are some of the richest men in the world. Wow. You're a very impressive guy. Done. 
you too are quite a pair. Your simple you, sharp and reserved. Perfect combination to snare man's interest. Mm, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> you should. Okay. Now it's my turn. You want to guess what we do for a living? Why not? Okay, give it your best shot. You two are opposite, so I'm thinking that you work together, right? <laughs> and you, you scan the room when you come in, so I'm thinking that you are cautious. How do you know I'm not just looking for handsome men? Maybe. No, go on, uh. You're doing pretty good so far. You spotted my security team right away, and you pulled up and late model silver charger, no personality. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? No bumper stickers, no personal items inside. You looked inside our car? That's kind of weird. Look, we're just a couple of girls uh, looking to have a good time. Well, please don't be upset. I'm simply trying to make educated guess what my new friends do for a living. Okay. So make the guess and let's get back to having fun. Okay. I'm guessing that you two are cops, right? That's right. We're not. Sarcastic. <laughs> but I'm thinking my get is on the money. Your uh, plates on your car expire in December. Police are run by governments. Bean counters always looking for ways to save buck. They don't register undercover cars till end of year, so they don't have to pay license fee. Wow, you sure you're not a cop? Pretty impressive, huh? Okay, how's this? In radio store, they sell simple little tool to detect radio transmissions. Not fancy. Someone tries to send transmission in a little box, puts out white noise. Little box started putting out white noise occasionally. When that man in back of bar come in. But when you two beautiful ladies come in, little box started going crazy. Well, Nikolai, you're entertaining. Way too paranoid. Did I say something to offend you? No. It's just time for you to go. Thanks for the drinks. You're angry. At least, let me pay for drinks. It's the least I can do for two such fine civil servants. Let's go. Stay with the girls. I'll pick up Mason when he gets a few blocks away. Copy. This guy, he just ate us for lunch. Sure you're not just being paranoid? Believe me, we're sure. Well, we gotta figure out a better way to get up on this guy. Anybody get a look at any of the carjacking crew? No, it was just Nikolai and his boys. That doesn't really tell us much. Was there any pattern to the ribs or anything like that? Well, they usually occur between the hours of 10 and midnight. Victims are mostly women, and they'll shoot if there's any resistance. Between 10 and midnight? That's the PM shift change for the uniform cops. Smart guys. So they wait until the cops are heading to the barn. We need to rip one of these guys in the act. Build a good enough case so we can flip them on Nikolai. But how are we going to do that? A little bit of decoy work, baby. Who's driving? I think what we got to do is uh, get the newbie to jump up and show us what you got. Good luck, newbie. Don't stop nobody that's going to take up your time. Don't stop nobody unless you see something that you think is real. We don't need, like, you know, sex crimes or sex offenders or prostitutes or hookers. You know what we're looking for. Don't get mixed up. We're looking for carjackers. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head on the swivel. Frequency 
quiet out here tonight. You got anything? No, nothing yet. I'm heading east now. Maybe I'll connect over there. Sarah. Yeah. Good luck. Right, I'm in position now, Sarah, what's your 20? East 56, approaching suspects now. Got a couple guys watching me. Roll the window down and out for directions. Make it happen. Radner, you do that, we end up booking a couple of opportunists instead of the guys we're looking for. Here we go, here we go. Taking a pass. Boss should have sent Juliet his base instead of the newbie. I'll find one. I got this. Nikolai's on the move. Mason Radner, tail Nikolai for a few blocks, then fall back. I got an eye on Sarah. Copy that. I'll take lead, Radner. Mason can handle this on his own. I'll tell the kid. Radner, stay on course. Radner. There's no way to cover this guy with one car and no bird. Julia, pick up on Mason's tail. Find out where to head. Copy. Nikolai Putin, I might be able to make some time go bye-bye. No problem. He ain't from around here. I don't know why I'm squat. I kind of had a feeling he might say something like that. Don't ever flip that easy for me. You ain't Kane. So what do you think? How'd the new girl do? Her name is Sarah. And what is it with you and Radner, huh? You think just because she got a nice rack, she can't hold the mud? Oh, whoa, whoa, you got it all twisted. Do I? You do. And you're right. She might be the new girl, but she's definitely good for the team. She did good, huh? She ain't as good as you. Of course. She ain't me. Yeah. There's a shipment coming in early this morning. That's why they're meeting at the club. Ain't that right? I need real good specifics, you hear? There's a warehouse on uh, pier number 49. Uh, I don't know how much product is coming in. It's enough that they wanted two cars to make the pickup. But since we took you down, there's only going to be one, so he knows you're burned. No, no he's a crafty Russian. There are five of us out looking for cars. First two back in get paid. Now, as of now, there's still two. The man's desperate to move his product ASAP, and he's gonna take some chances, you know? Once the products load into the cars, then what? We each get a map, five, eight hours, get the product across country. And what happens to those four bastards that don't make it? Don't know. Never happened. Yeah, until you met me.
it's going to get a little better for you. Hey, uh, dispatch said you needed me for a, for a transport? Yeah, guys in the holding, sir. All right. Hey, Chief, uh, can I have a quick word? Yeah. All right, so this woman keeps coming down to the precinct, says she wants to file a complaint about you. Uh, let me guess, her name is uh, Cynthia Chase. Sure thing, she's a uh, real looker. I mean, if you don't mind my asking, what, uh, would you break her heart? She don't have a heart, but listen. Right, well, with a body like that, it cares about her heart, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor, next time she comes down the precinct, give her a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time, take her statement, show her a little respect, that'll go a long way. It'll help me out and it'll be good for her. Yeah, sure thing, sir. I'll get right on that, smooth things over for you, you know? I appreciate that. What's that all about? About your girlfriend? Heads up, everybody. This boy's prone to sneak out the back, so heads up. Mason, I got Nikolai.
we're good. How do you say ass in Russian? Come in. Come on in. Come on in, yo. Come and sit down. So, you got something good for me? That gun Nikolai pulled on you was tested down in ballistics. What I'm talking about. We got a match in the Camp Harmony Massacre. So, Yanko's good for the grocery store murders, Nikolai for the Camp Harmony job, and his drug pipeline has been cut off through the state. Not a bad resolution, Chief. See, my daddy used to say, even an old blind rooster hit a piece of corn once in a while. We all got lucky, that's good stuff, man. Good work. Good work, y'all. That's great. What happened to your head? Newbie can't keep her hands off me. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> you wish. Well, it looks like the newbie might make it through this after all. All right, everybody happy? Watch it. Good stuff. Cool. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. God! I come to see Elijah. You try and stop me. Do you really think that you're gonna get away with that? Why don't you just calm down, sweetheart? Hey, did you know that he's coming on to me? That ain't right. Gates, what's wrong with you, man? I told you, act right. Hey, Chief, don't worry about it. I got this, okay? Okay, you know what? Now I'm filing a complaint against you. What, you were trying to pull Gates oh. and you're filing wow. one on me? Get me? You know that girl is certifiable 220, right? I mean, she needs therapy. Yeah, I know. But see, I'm working on a man. Look what I got over there. Dad ought to get rid of her, don't you think? I think so. See what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> the man is unbelievable. <laughs>